What's up guys, it's Jacob. Every day we bring you the best videos around and today we have got the biggest bike jump in history. A high schooler crushing his post game interview. Never give up on your dreams. And the end of vertical video. <laughs> Today, more than 120 world leaders gathered in New York City for a United Nations summit on climate change. They were asked to come with bold, game-changing ideas, and the meeting started with a few words from Morgan Freeman. We have never faced a crisis this big, but we have never had a better opportunity to solve it. We have everything we need to wake up to a different kind of world. What is needed is a concerted effort. In anticipation of the event, nearly 400,000 people filled the streets of Manhattan on Sunday for the largest climate change rally in history. And it wasn't just New York. More than 2,700 rallies took place in more than 150 countries worldwide. Obviously, climate change is a global problem, and we all have to contribute to solve it. We put together a great playlist for you about what's going on and what you can do to help. <laughs> It's Tuesday DIY, and this week's project is for all my fellow studio apartment dwellers out there who never have anywhere to sit. Thankfully, Homemade Modern is here to show you how to make a pretty adorable cement stool at home using a bucket. How very sparse and Scandinavian of them. First, cut the dowel into three 16-inch pieces. Shake and tap the bucket to get the bubbles out. We went to Home Depot, and then I got to lift an 80-pound concrete bag. That was very exciting. It's so easy! Anyone can do it! Mixing the concrete is nowhere near as easy as it looks in the video. If you don't have a saw, that's okay. You can go to a hardware store and usually you can find somebody who will help you cut it. I did it, guys! Yay! It only weighs 45 pounds. I wanna see yours, so take a photo or video and then tweet it at YouTube Nation with the hashtag TuesDIY and next week I will show off my favorites. <laughs> If it's got wheels and it goes fast, chances are Travis Pastrana has mastered it. But now the undisputed king of motocross is trying his hand at filmmaking. We started from scratch and came up with this 20 foot tall takeoff, which is the absolutely biggest, most insane jump ever even thought of. Travis has been posting these insane behind the scenes clips in the lead up to the winter release of his new film, Action Figures. Go over to the Nitro Circus channel because every other Friday there's new episodes featuring Travis and the crew. Sadly, every day, hundreds and thousands of vertical videos are uploaded to the internet just like this. But now, there's a cure. Horizon. The app was originally released in January, but the latest version came out a couple weeks back, and this short film perfectly illustrates what most of us have wished for for years. <laughs> Seriously, Horizon, thank you. You're changing the world one horizontal video at a time. Everybody is sharing this video right now. What were you guys able to do to come back and win this thing? All right, well, at first we started slow. We started real slow. And you know, that's all right. That's okay, because sometimes in life you're gonna start slow. That's okay. High school senior Apollos Hester and his football team in Texas just won by one point after being down by 14. And he's feeling pretty good. But it took guts, it took an attitude. That's all it takes. That's all it takes to be successful is an attitude. It's an awesome feeling. It's an awesome feeling when you truly believe that you're going to be successful. Regardless of the situation, regardless of the scoreboard, you are going to be successful because you put in all the time, all the effort, all the hard work, and you know that it's going to pay off. Something tells me that's not the last post-game interview that we'll be seeing from Apollo Hester. It's Tuesday, which means it is my favorite time of the week. We're taking your comments and questions. Luis Garcia asks, can you all say hi to me, please? Hi, Luis! Darkside Nation asks, what does the outside of your building look like? Here it is, YouTube Nation in all its glory. And Gonzalo asks, can we get a tour of YouTube Nation HQ? Of course, Gonzalo. Let me show you around and introduce you to some of the interesting characters that we have working here. Get ready to hear some incredible stories. I don't think I will ever forget some of those incredible tales. We had so much fun with you guys at the comment party last week. We're gonna do it all over again this Thursday. We'll be down in the comments from six to seven Pacific to answer all of your burning questions. We will see you guys tomorrow. Now play us out. Pomple Moose.